banks in the fadeaway. Making a long two connects. Macon is cut off at the elbow, spins away from Henderson and gets the shot to fall off the glass. Nifty ball handling, 10 seconds to shoot, good close out by Blossom game. Macon will try a three and hits it. We're gonna review that in a little bit though. Ledbetter around the Brima screen, takes it to the baseline and the pass goes out to the wing, no one was there and it's three on none for the easy dunk by Darryl Macon. It's now for Amita, the returning post player. It's been a strong couple of possessions for him. Just Macon. as I say that, late to close out on the wing to help. Washburn loses the handle. It's picked up by Johnson, ahead to Macon. He's all alone for the slam. Darryl Macon ran right into a screen from Brima, player who wasn't even on a true scholarship, was just getting room and board. Actually had to pay off some of his student loans with that rookie contract. Making around a Warney screen. Tries a straightaway three and hits. Making runs the horns play to the left. Takes it to the left lane line and his shot is good. Almost an uh-oh moment in midair from Julian. But made the adjustment. Making attacks the basket and Finishes over Brima from Warney and Spalding. Create a mismatch here, Brima. Going up against Macon. Settles for a long two and hits. Well, in a variety of ways. Blossom game has this pass deflected away by Eubanks. Here's Macon taking it the other way. He lays it up and in. Well, after getting that palming violation, the Spurs have since allowed. 